Oh, the table repair and refinishing. Welcome back, guys. Jeff from Wisconsin Woodworking. All right, you've seen me go through and do the repair on the pedestal of the actual supports to actually mount the table top on. You've seen me go through and rework the pedestal, add a little stain, lacquer, you know, just to polish it up, brighten it up, which that one wasn't in such bad shape. Um, then I moved on to getting the table, uh, which was horrid on the top, all them scratches. Well, I decided to um, sand it. Now, I had a question. The reason I sanded it is because it is a veneered top. And I had a question. Why didn't I use like a scraper or like a planer, like a hand plane to like shave it off? Well, because it's a veneer. And with sanding it, you can actually control how much you're removing. Because you can actually see it disappearing and you can get down to the wood. And you don't want to chew through the veneer because once the veneer is gone, it's gone. I mean, you're back down to your pressed wood. So, I chose to go to sanding and I made sure that when I sanded it, and like I said, it took me about three hours, you know, and I didn't want to use chemicals either. You know, you could put stripper on there and then scrape it. Well, I didn't want to have it dripping all down or getting it on the side skirts because there's nothing wrong with the skirts. They're actually in really good shape. Um, I think they just need to be waxed up and that's it. So, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to go through all that. So... That's why I chose sanding on it. So now for this part, I've already done where I used my foam block 320 sandpaper. I took, now I got four coats of lacquer on here. Now I kind of skipped through some of this because I don't think you guys all want to watch all that. So I sanded everything, cleaned everything up, tacked it down, and I already did one side I already got the wax on, I hand polished it, and then what I did is I took a really nice towel, and then I took my orbital sander, which is a PSA, nice smooth pad on here. There's no Velcro or fingers to grip anything, it's a PSA. And I lay this on the real soft cloth, and I let that motion actually warm up and burn in that wax does a beautiful job um, and that's after I put it on I hand buff it off and then I hand buff it off with the rag and then I come back and I hit it with that and it makes it like really super smooth glassy so I'm gonna show you what we got right now now if you can see which you should be able to because I can see it in the camera is this is the side it's all done it's already waxed been buffed out you can see the difference now this is with no wax this has already been sanded and wiped off got a little bit on here I'm gonna retap I'm gonna just wipe it off real quick that's just from overnight sitting but you can see this is all done it's got a nice shine to it it's smooth I mean I can just drag I can just drag this on here there's like nothing slides right off so it's really smooth so we're gonna just wax this side up but yeah we're just gonna wax this up real quick I'll go through the, what I do to wax it so you can see uh, it might be into something that you don't do um, it'd be great if you guys could throw out a video and show me how you guys wax things up but anyways enough talking let's get started Get my stuff back out here. Do a quick wipe. All right. Now I have a couple different products. I actually have a product I do put on my uh, bare wood, and that's my beeswax mineral oil, or I'm sorry, uh, tongue oil that uh, and it's natural tongue oil it's not like the stuff you can buy at Menards Home Depot Lowe's that wax uh, min wax uh, tongue oil stuff with the lacquer and it. it's pure tongue oil I order offline 
and I mix it with my beeswax. But this one on this table, I'm using the Minwax Paste Finishing Wax. It's just a carnauba wax. It seals the table on top of the lacquer and it just helps protect it and give it a shine. So that's what I'm using here. And I grab a wad of it out and I rub that wax right into the table here. Starting a further point here. So I just grab it, just grab that whole lump and work that baby in there. Give it a couple swirls back and forth. halfway point. I'm going to just go back. Alright, now now that we got it on, we did the first coat removed, second coat buff. You can already see the shine is pretty smooth, but it's not smooth enough. This is where I open this up, and I have a little fun. I'm using this as my polisher. I wanted to actually get a polisher, and I know Festool's got one too. But you know fast tools they're expensive all right it's gonna get a little noisy but all I do is I set this on here and I press down and I move it along and it actually buffs it all out start up here Up just like the other side. All this is is a hundred percent cotton bath towel, real thick, very soft. This is my uh, finalized buffing rag. Does wonders, especially with a PSA sander. Just beautiful. So, anyways, the table right now is done it needs to go back on its base I need to touch up and wax up the side rails um, and then spray the actual inner mechanism make sure that that's all taken care of and then put the table together and take a picture of it post it so you guys can actually check out my web page uh, probably within a week I'll have a picture of the table set up and it's at wisconsinwoodworking.weebly.com that's my web page so I'll post it up under the new news um, I'm working on developing a newsletter so that you can subscribe to that too on my web page all right, well, I, I apologize. This is a, pretty much it was the end of the whole thing. I uh, was just going through and doing a quick process of the wax. So you see, see how I do one version of waxing and polishing. I do a couple of other ways too. So in the videos as they go along, you'll see me doing all different ones, and I'll explain it. Well, all right, that's the end of this series. And... Stay tuned. Once this is all done, I'll be taking pictures of that, posting it. And then I'm getting on the makeup homework desk for my daughter. She needs a desk that she can do her makeup and fingernail polish and her homework at. She likes to hide in her bedroom, you know, how that goes with teenage girls. So, all right. Jeff from Wisconsin Woodworking. Enough gabbing. Tree's work is never done. 
get in your shop, make some sawdust, have fun. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Really appreciate you guys doing that. And then I will be uploading a new thing, an idea I have. I want to see how you guys want to react to it. That'll be after this, so there will be possibly two uploads. Part 5 and my surprise thing. <laughs> All right, enough goofing around. Take care, guys. Jeff from Wisconsin, woodworking, saying goodbye.